Uh, but really, the talk of the town, the big spike in the news right now, heavy on the headlines. And that's what we bring you on this show is current headlines a week later. <laughs> hard. Erected hard facts. Uh, yeah, but also just, you know, it's been it, it's been on my mind. It's been in my head, and I, I have been watching it fairly closely. But there is a young lady who went missing. I don't know if you know anything about this case. I think I may have heard rumors about this girl. I forget her name. Sadie Pumplenick or something. Gabby like, something, something Gabby, yeah. Something very white. But... Um, she goes on vacation with her boyfriend, right? They, they, he converts a van. I've been saying this since day one, by the way, and I don't know how many of y'all are listening, but I've been saying since day one, van life, hashtag van life is so fucking whack. Okay. Because it, it was a cool hack that turned into a lifestyle, okay. like just like stupid shit and guys ruin it. Not just guys, but like you're ruining a fun little hack, a little trick that people did. And now you're like sprucing up these little vans and like, you just, you're just a bunch of assholes. And then I just like, leave it at that. Okay. Cut it out. Well, I had the interior done and da, 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 And it's like, they don't, what are the, what, okay. Anyway. You know what the future of that is, right? What? The Prius life. No. <laughs> Which you've adopted a little bit. Yeah, to, a certain, it, to a certain extent. If you haven't, I mean... There you go. And then you're going to hear about stories about Prius drivers doing the same thing. Let me say something to you right <laughs> now. You're right. And, but I just think it's gotten a little out of control. The van life is particularly scary. And I think this is the first obvious indicator that it's gotten out of control yeah. because assholes now find their way into these situations. And uh, I think all signs pointing to, so they, he, he converts this van him and his girlfriend, they're like in their early 20s, and they go on a cross-country adventure. Yeah. Now, what is that also known as when you're in your young 20s and you go on a trip with your boyfriend? Um, what is that? Rebelling against your parents. Uh-huh. And? And? Can um, we be honest about it right now? Um, maybe she's pregnant and she doesn't want to tell the family. Close. Satanic but I cult. think be doing that is, it's a, it's a fuck-a-palooza is what it is. Because oh, you're yeah. young. And now you have like you've made your you've made your fuck den on wheels and it's gross and I'm Young, disgusted ready by to come. it. Anyway, let's not be crass about the situation. I think it's important to listen to the facts and not say anything inappropriate, which is something that we have a hard time doing. But yeah. we'll figure it out. Yeah. Anyway. So this Sadie Gabby Gabby Pumperdick. It's, it's called Gabby Gifford. I can't I wanna respect to this person because they they However, they go on a cross-country trip, I think to Wyoming, several city or uh, sites, and then Utah, and then uh, and then the and then the van returns with the boyfriend and no girlfriend. Uh oh. Yeah, and he doesn't say anything, which is highly highly sus. So highly suspicious. He refuses to talk to authorities. And now they have the latest news. Is that, well, the latest news is up right now is that they have found the remains of what they think to be her body in oh. Wyoming. Uh, early theories of this, uh, it seems very obvious. I don't want to point fingers because we do a thorough, you know, rundown of what's going on here. Yeah, we do. We <laughs> but do. if you had a theory, what would it be? Um, I, I think, yeah, I my mind has to go to the shaitan meaning uh, Lucifer in this, thinking that he sacrificed her to a satanic cult Okay. in order to fulfill some sort of sick Baphomet prophecy. Okay, interesting. That was yeah. an, That's a theory I haven't heard yet, which is usually when you open your mouth. Uh, but I think it might, it might be, you might not be wrong in the sense that like this guy probably has the devil in him. Yeah. Uh, but they were arguing, and there's body camera footage uh, from a police officer because they were under or attained after a incident so they have already this footage of them not getting along is what i'm saying mm, yikes okay. that's a little telling i don't want to be an armchair detective but you put me you've made it my fucking job you made me think about this all week thank you all the news outlets and my current algorithms but um it's a really kind of sad thing mm -hmm. because uh it, 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 it here's why i find it a little bit unnerving is because if this cat has, if he's from a fairly well-to-do 
family and they play it smart, they could probably have a kid on a plane out of the country very quickly, mm. especially if the parents lie for him. Mm-hmm. Um, which is what they're going to do most likely. I think most likely this kid's already out of the country. It, it's, it's what I think I would do if I was under that amount of suspicion. Now, you can come back and face you know, the consequences because obviously they can extradite you out of that country, say it were Mexico, for instance. Right. But um, the, I think the idea is to let everything settle and then get really, really good representation and try to fight a case, right? Because they're going to they're gonna try to build a case against the situation here, especially because if you come back to town without your girlfriend and you don't have an explanation for the family, it seems painfully obvious. Yeah, I mean, it's always, it's painfully always the obvious. husband, it's always the boyfriend, it's always, you know what, a piece of shit man. It's always a very weak man. Girls ruin the world. <laughs> it's just a very weak man, and I understand the weakness of, of you know, arguing arguing with somebody and having differences of opinions and letting that your your anger get the best of you. However, mm. this just smells. This reeks of another like Scott Peterson shit. Like it just reeks of another like well. And I think that's probably why it's getting so much news heavy traction. But man, what what a fucking bummer, right? It's yeah. just like. My question to you is what, okay, so where, where do you think the future of this is? Do you think they're going to find the, a killer, say, for instance? It's not him? Um, say he encountered a killer, and that killer was like, bang! And he was like, don't you tell anybody a word. You know what I mean? He could yeah. come out with some wild-ass excuse like that, even though shit looks bad. It's totally, like, we we, we kind of grown to understand there is a justice system here. Yeah. But it don't look good. I think we might have a... a- made for tv lifetime movie ahead of us where, truly truly yeah, truly where it's some crazy weird like situation where something like yeah oh i didn't kill her but you know what i i pushed her to you know i pushed her oh away that's from me a theory is that um is that it was a horrible accident and he doesn't know how to explain it well because then she started cheating on him and then he's Ooh. like, oh, I don't want you anymore. So you think it was an infidelity? Well, I'm creating storylines now. Don't do that. Just try to theorize what would happen. Like, think to yourself, what could have it led to and why? Infidelity for it, probably, yeah. You're calling infidelity. I'm calling this. infidelity, okay. or if not, he just probably... On a road a trip? trip? So you think she just belted out and slammed... Okay. Because they were staying at some place for like a couple of weeks and then she ends up meeting some dude at the bar who was like way oh, more chill. I see what you're saying. And then she falls quick saying. and then he finds out like, oh, see some text messages. She's like her right. talking to this guy at the bar. Like, what were you doing? What were you doing? It fucking backhands her and beats her up. Like, you do this shit again. And then, you know, it turns out the other guy, maybe maybe the other guy even then kills her instead. And then it's like, really? oh, but now it falls on the boyfriend because it's like, oh, fuck. It hmm. turns out there's been like a missing persons thing out for her for like the past like I don't know how long already, you know. And then, is it wrong of me that I hope that this crushes van life sales? Um, I hope not the Volkswagen. Like, oh, you love the va- the Volkswagen, the Germans, the fucking the Nazi people. Okay, <laughs> all right, sure, you're a fan of them. Them for they made tanks, by the way. They made tanks, Adolfo. Damn.